A couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to go skiing in the country of Georgia. It was fantastic. And you can watch the segment we did for it in the first ever whiteout edition. But you know, most for most of us this winter, we haven't been able to get anywhere. So if you're looking at the 2021-22 winter and thinking, I just wanna go somewhere a bit different and do something special, then I've got a few suggestions for you. So first up on that list is the country of Iran. Might not be the first place that comes to mind when you're planning a ski holiday, but actually with a lots, lots of mountains across the whole country and cold winters, they do have some good little ski resorts. Uh, Dizin and Shemshak are the main ones, just a couple of hours drive from the capital city of Tehran, which you could obviously combine with a ski trip there, or maybe just stop off in Istanbul as well for a night or two. I know tour operator Mountain Heaven operates holidays there. They have been doing that for a few years and they've all gone without a hitch and the feedback I get from those guys is fantastic. So that's definitely one for me to look out for. Second up is the country of Uzbekistan. Now, a couple of years ago, I, I visited neighboring country Kazakhstan and saw some of the ski resorts around Almaty, uh, which are pretty established. But Uzbekistan's getting in on the act now and they've opened a new ski resort just last winter called Amisoy. 15 kilometers a piece, which is, you know, a, a good start. And they've got a brand new gondola and chairlift installed, as well as a five star chalet hotel on site as well. And they plan to link that resort up with a couple of neighboring resorts that are already there as well. So very interesting developments in, in Uzbekistan. Of course, you could fly into Tashkent, the capital city, and you could also visit the historic city of Samarkand too. So pretty cool a story to tell your mates down the pub when you get home, that one. Third on my list is Turkey. Already got a very established ski industry in Turkey. And of course, it's not surprising considering the amount of mountains that cover the country. One of the key resorts is Palandokan, right in the northeast, close to the city of Erzurum. It's got 40 kilometers of ski run, so relatively speaking, it's quite large. And it goes to over 3,000 meters in altitude as well. There's lots of other ski areas covering the whole country, but perhaps for me, the most interesting thing is some of the heli skiing they've got there. There's a Swiss-based company called Turkey Heli Ski, and they run an operation there. And they've got some of the best guides, including Sam Anthematon, the World Freeride Tour legend. There's a couple of words that come to mind, but I think of that trip. Turkish delight. Sorry about that. Last but not least is the landlocked country of North Macedonia. There's only a couple of small commercial ski areas in the country. Uh, one of them being Popova Sapka, not too far from the capital city of Skopje. So you could combine a city visit with a ski, but maybe again, more interestingly, is the cat skiing and free ride ski touring that's available in the country. And that's led by a company called Shah Outdoors. And they run these trips, they have been running these trips for quite a number of years. And they look a lot of fun. If you want to do some cat skiing, which is obviously in a cat machine, uh, rather than a helicopter, uh, but you access off-piece terrain, I'd have a look at this because it looks like a great option. So that's another one on the list for me, that's for sure. So all of these countries, really cool places to go, obviously very different from what we might be used to experiencing in say the Alps and the Pyrenees, North America or Scandinavia, different kind of infrastructure. But you know, they offer something that we can't find in those traditional places. And for me, I certainly know I'd like to keep on going and ticking some of these destinations off the list, hopefully next winter.